BT's Business Report is sponsored by Dynamic Funds. Time now for business news, and we say a very good morning to Mike Apple. A welcome back. You're off Hello. yesterday. A very uh, yep. productive day off. You had. oh, huge, huge yeah. day on the farm, working at all sorts of things, and in the midst of <laughs> a driving rainstorm. Yes. What's the deal with all the rain, Tammy? <laughs> Ask <sighs> Frank. I don't North, know. Northeast wind. Well, have we even had a have we even had a frost yet this season? Another, like an actual another chilling like frost. I feel like there was a frost, like an advisory recently. We got to ask Frank. We'll, we'll, yeah, uh, these are, I, I will these find are out for you. Questions. Yeah. I remember frost back in the day. You know what? <sighs> it's earlier. almost November, anyway. and we, uh, and we've done <laughs> the pretty good. In November I have come early. Yeah, yeah. As the song says. There you go. Um, yeah. So yeah, productive day for you again. Yes. Another productive day on the markets. TSX oh. on a crazy high. Yeah, and seven days in a row it set records. Fourteen day winning streak, which is the longest on record for the Toronto Stock Exchange. And once again, it was bank stocks and gold shares doing the heavy lifting. Um, Got to mention what's going on stateside as well, because the Dow and the S&P also hit all-time highs yesterday. And uh, there, a lot of it had to do with energy companies and also the banks, which have been very strong of late. So this uh, market rally rolls on. And I'm looking at the futures contract this morning, and it appears that we're going to see a continuation of the uptrend for potentially a 15 15th day in a row, so ostensibly three trading weeks for the TSX to the upside. October used to be this big month where you worry about losing money. It is not uh, turning out that way this year. But what else is new? Everything's topsy-turvy. Everything's upside down. So we'll see how that mm -hmm. happens, uh, how that all rolls out today and for the rest of the week. Uh, another uh, story that we have been keeping a close eye on, of course, our parent company, Rogers. Uh, this family clash is going to the Supreme Court today. Yeah, in British Columbia, where the company is incorporated, Edward Rogers uh, wants to take his case as the uh, head of the Rogers Family Trust to be basically become chairman. He says he is using his control of the Rogers Family Trust. The board of directors at Rogers and other family members say that is not the case and it's illegal. And so... Uh, this case will go to the British Columbia Supreme Court potentially as soon as today, and he wants an expedited ruling on this. And it's not a surprise here because when you look at the market reaction to all of this, Tammy, uh, it's not good. Uh, yesterday, Rogers was down by more than 5% on the TSX. And don't forget, there's this uh, pending deal to buy Shaw Communications for over $20 billion, and Shaw stock was down as well on the uncertainty. And it's been down, I think, I think nine of the past 10 trading days. So that is not insignificant. All right. So we'll see again how this uh, plays out later today. A lot of people mm -hmm. keeping a very, very close eye on this one. Uh, next off, Tesla. So now yep. uh, went from a billion dollar company to a oh. tri So <laughs> what is it? Gazillion now? What is it? Yeah, What's that's about next? right. A gazillion. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. One trillion dollars. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> Elon <laughs> Musk is, I, I think, uh, is he? I think he's the world ri world's richest individual now. I know he's worth over $200 billion. As Tesla, get this. So last summer, Hertz, the rental car company, went bankrupt. Remember, nobody was renting cars. We were in the middle of COVID. So the company went belly up. They reorganized. They've since uh, come back into the play here. It never really went entirely away. But now Hertz is buying 100,000 Tesla Model 3s in a $4 billion deal. Tesla on that news yesterday spiked 12%. It's now over $1,000 per share. It's just the fifth company now to reach $1 trillion in market value, joining Google's parent company, Alphabet, Amazon, Microsoft, and the grand champion, which is Apple, which will be reporting earnings later this week. So, uh, yeah, Elon Musk keeps on getting more wealthy here. And this, this look, if you rent a, an EV, you might like it. And then you go out and buy a Tesla. Smart. It's all tied here. And that's why Tesla's share price surging again in pre-market action this morning. I'm just confused about how Hertz can do this after uh, you know, struggling the, the, so much. The, account, the accountants are very... They figure very, it out. Uh, very wily. The numbers, the numbers. <laughs> okay. That's right. Uh, you talked about Apple as well being a trillion dollar company. Facebook mm -hmm. now uh, throwing a little bit of shade to Apple as well as the media yesterday during yep. uh, their... Conference, conference call. call, yeah. Yeah, 
and the earnings were fine, still 1.3 billion daily active users, so nobody's logging off Facebook. But the company's been in the spotlight, of course, about this whistleblower dropping documents about the internal goings on at Facebook and all of the effects that social media has on the general public and the political spectrum. Mark Zuckerberg saying, well, it's all being cherry picked uh, for you know, to, to create stories, and he's going to be having to answer more questions to the U.S. Congress, and don't forget about the whole Metaverse thing, uh, and maybe an announcement on a company name change later this week. Facebook is uh, uh, spending $50 billion on a stock back and buyback, and lo and behold, the share price up by 2.5% in pre-market action. Not quite a trillion-dollar company yet. Not yet, but it, Not well, yet. we'll see. I don't, I don't know if it, it will be in the end. I, want, well, I have an update for you. Anything is possible. I have an update for you. Very important. Frank says there has yes. been frost okay. in certain parts, not in Toronto, but north of Highway yeah. 7. North of 7. That's right. That's what I was thinking. That's what you yeah. were thinking. So, That's so you know. I'm thinking. Frost there. <laughs> All right. The more you know. Exactly. We'll see you tomorrow, Mike. Thanks so much. Thank you.